Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,100 likes, over 7,200 comments, and over 64,000 views. Let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. If you enjoy this type of content, crush the like button crush the subscribe button, and if you do decide to subscribe, tap the notifications bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube, and be sure to share this video with all your coin collecting friends out there. So here is a 1972D Jefferson nickel. We see Thomas Jefferson in the center of the coin facing left, and God we trust at left, Liberty at upper right, and the mid year of 1972, that is when this coin was produced along with the Mint Mark D, representing the Denver, Colorado Mint. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over so that we may enjoy a look at the back of the coin, or you may call this the reverse of the coin, or simply tails. And what a beautifully designed coin this is, both front and back, both obverse and reverse, both heads and tails. And as we enjoy the tail side together, we see E. Polaribus Unum going across the top, Monticello, which is a large home Jefferson built for himself, five cents, United States of America, 351,694,000 were produced. This coin was minted at the Denver, Colorado Mint and was designed and engraved by Felix Schlag. The metal composition is 75% copper and 25% nickel. The diameter is 21.2 millimeters and this coin's weight is 5 grams. The face value is 5 cents. The numismatic value is also five cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as 28 cents for one found in uncirculated mint state 60 condition, and can be worth as much as $3.30 for one found in brilliant uncirculated mint state 65 condition, and that is at the time of this video production. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And drop a like and leave as many comments as you'd like on that video. If you wanted to leave one or two comments on that video, it'd be greatly appreciated. Or if you wanted to leave one or two billion comments on that video, I will certainly not stand in your way, as there are no limits to the number of comments that you can leave on that video on this video, or any Coin Collecting Fun video for that matter. So leave as many comments as you'd like on that video. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. You can also check out Coin Collecting Fun on Instagram at Coin Collecting Fun. Also check out Coin Collecting Fun on Twitter at Coin Collecting Fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.